Hi everyone and welcome to this new episode of this mini-series about Max for Life devices that I made for the Artinoise recorder. Today we're going to take a look at the mapper device which is really really useful for performances. Let's open it by double clicking on it or drag and drop it into a MIDI track. So here it is. Okay, perfect. First thing that we're going to take a look is the interface. As you can see, it's divided into four different parts. The first one is pressure, then we have rotation, inclination, and lastly, z-axis. The z-axis, as we discussed in a past video I made about the live mappings, uh, is like a, a hidden sensor that uh, we can find inside the app settings, and it is currently unused, but you can turn it on and uh, use it to experiment. Uh, with, uh, with different kinds of motions because it's like a gravity slash acceleration sensor and I'm not going to use it today but I leave it here in the, in the device for the sake of it so you are free to use it if you want. As you can see each sensor is constantly sending infos about their position so I can change the rotation, I can change the inclination and the first one is pressure so obviously when I blow into it it will rise the harder I blow into it the higher the value each and every one of these four sections is made of this slider which is a visual representation of the current state of the, the sensor and then we have three different mapping options we, we can map the pressure rotation or inclination to up to three different parameters or at once these three sections are made of a map button that when you press on it it will be uh, ready to map to some kind of parameters that we are going to take a look in a moment then we have the lower and upper limits that we can change in percentage so we can precisely dial in how much we want to change the parameters we mapped using the recorder sensors now let's see how we can use it and uh, it's really easy and intuitive we just start we can just start by taking a synthesizer for example this basic silk horns preset from the analog synth uh, i want for example to map the inclination to the filter opening or closing we can do it by click on map this first map parameter here and when it will be lit yellow it means that it's ready to be mapped to some kind of parameters for example i can just click on the filter cutoff and as you can see it will be gray and it's following the movements okay perfect so let's see it in action then we can change the filter cutoff using the pressure so just click on map and change the to the filter resonance and let's see okay maybe it's too harsh so we can just change how much we want the pressure to change the filter resonance by modifying the lower and upper limits i don't want it to go all the way up perfect i can also do something with the lower limit on the filter cutoff so i don't want it to close all the way when i i'm in the resting position so i can just turn up the lower limit to like uh, 25 percent yeah what we can also do is we can invert the behavior of the the sensors so when i invert the values then i turn the lower limit over the higher limit we can invert the response so i can do like a 90 percent to a 45 percent and look at the filter cutoff knob okay We are not limited to use this device on just a single plugin that we loaded, for example, the, the analog preset, but we can do also some, some 
creative stuff for example i can use the utility uh, the, the utility device and i can use it to change the balance and the panning of the sound for so i can press map on the rotation and change it to the balance so when i play and i tilt my head it will follow my movement to move the the sound between the left and right channel okay uh now i don't want to change the pen anymore so to do so we can just click on this x button it appears after we mapped something and uh, when you just click on it the mapping will be gone and if we want to take the lower and the upper limits to their def default we just double click on it and you are ready to go if you want to adjust the the the, the percentage you can just click and drag your finger on your mouse pad or you can just select one of the, the parameters and use the arrow keys to be more precise or you can just press shift shift plus arrow keys to go up of 12 steps now let's see it in action i prepared a midi track with the mapper device an instrument and an auto pen and a distortion fx plus two audio track with just some basic drums to accompany my playing and let's see how it sounds <laughs> Okay, that was it. I hope that you are inspired to use the mapper device to do some cool stuff. <laughs> Let's see next time with the next tutorial about the Max for Live devices for the Artinoise recorder. Bye guys!